Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. I am Lou Brown. I've been buying, holding and selling real estate now for over 40 years. And I can tell you it's been a fun ride. It's been a great ride. And today we're definitely going to talk about how you can find some great deals. I've been do doing a whole series on investing in real estate and kind of a 10 step process. So definitely you want to go back and look at the uh, prior ones on YouTube and we're going to continue with that process. Now I always like to get started with wins of the week. This past weekend, we had an amazing, and if you've been keeping up with my series, you know that we had a great event coming up and now we've completed it. And that is Maximum Asset Shield. And it, we did phenomenal conversation about one of my favorite topics on the planet. And that is trusts, land trusts, personal property trust, living trust, and the elite trust. And let me tell you something, it's been a wonderful journey, a fantastic ride in learning what those are, learning how they work, and then using them in not only my life, but in the lives of many of our clients throughout America. And it's been an, an interesting journey in learning what they do and what they don't do. And kind of like talking about wins of the week, you know, it was interesting to just alert people to the profound benefits that you get from trust. You know, one of our attendees was sharing that had his father put his assets into trust, then his mother, after his father passed away, would not have had to spend $28,400 in fees simply because of that one thing of the assets not being in trust. It was such a simple fix. It was such an easy fix. The son talked to the mother and father, said, look, this is the way to go. I've learned it from this guy, Lou Brown. This is the way to go. And unfortunately they did not listen. And then he was able to say to his mom, mom, you know, that check you're stroking right now, that $28,400. You do realize that if you had just gone ahead and listened to me, then that check would not be going out the door right now. And she said, yes, son, I know what you mean. And so he said, let's do this. And so sure enough, now, even though his mother is still living, the things are in trust. It's a beautiful thing and it's a powerful thing because just that one thing is the probate, right? But that's now being avoided for his family. So that's definitely one of the conversations we had. An another couple of wins that happened from the event is that we had folks join us there and they were sharing things. Uh, one of them came in by text, in fact, and it was, it was fantastic to see what was going on uh, in, in one of my clients uh, lives because I do coaching, I do coaching and mentoring. And it was a powerful thing because he shared that during that, during the event, he says, Lou, when for the affidavit memorandum, and that's a document that I invented, gosh, now probably about 30 years ago and definitely use in my business and definitely teach others how to use it in their businesses as well. And sure enough, we were able to get the power of that document in his hands through coaching. He says, Lou, this lady has backed out of the deal. He says, we made a deal. We put it under contract. She called me up. She says she plans to stay in the house. She wants to cancel the deal. He says, well, I smelled a rat. And he says, uh, what should I do? And I said, uh, Darren, you should go uh, record the affidavit memorandum of interest because after all, you've gone forward, you've pulled title, you've gotten geared up. In fact, you've got one of your buyers that was ready to move into the house. So definitely you should protect your interests in case they don't go forward with the sale of the property in case they do go forward with the sale of the property. So sure enough, he recorded that. And as a result of that, during the event, he tells me that uh, boom, he gets a call from the title company and they inform him that he's got this lien against the property because of the recording. And so as a result, 
wanted to know what to do because they were getting ready to close. He said, what do you mean? And the title guy says, well, they listed the property, an agent sold the property. They have a new buyer. They've qualified for a loan. We did the title search and up popped your, your affidavit memorandum. And he says, what's this all about? And he told him, well, I have a contract and they agreed to sell me the property for a significantly less than it sold for. So yeah, that's my money. And they negotiated back and forth and, my student is getting $30,000 as a result of that one page document, that one page document. Well, I shared that with the class and sure enough, another member of the class says, well, I have used that document too. It was a small deal. It was a mobile home. And she said, because I put that and he, she said, in fact, the seller threw me the keys didn't even wait for the closing, said, I am done with this property. I don't want anything more to do with it. Then saw her marketing and decided she was going to make some money on this thing. So he pulled out of the deal and said, I'm not going to sell it to you anymore. Well, she recorded my memorandum and sure enough, he went and sold it to someone else. There was a closing setup. They did a title search and up popped Petra. And so sure enough, she got $4,500 as a result of that. So, this is really a lesson about paperwork it, that the importance of paperwork, these were all wins on behalf of my clients because they took advantage of exactly what I teach you to do. And paperwork does matter. You know, when you've been in this business for over 40 years, you learn some things, you learn what works and you learn what doesn't work as well. And when you learn what doesn't work, you, learn not to do that again. And I love helping people bypass that, you know, that you don't have to go down that road. You don't have to learn that lesson. You don't have to pay that money for that lesson. You can avoid that lesson if you'll follow the path that's already been uh, batted out by me. I've already paid all those prices. Believe me, the documents that I've created have certainly come from losses that I've incurred because of the fact that those things happened to me. And there's been a lot of things happened to me uh, in this journey in real estate. But one thing I learned is always take action, always take action when you learn a lesson so that you never have to learn that lesson again. And that was a powerful lesson, certainly that, that I did. And it was, it was something that benefited me and my family. And now I benefit all of my licensees nationwide. So glad you could uh, appreciate and, and participate in those wins of the week this week.